don't want to say take your brother away. No, that ain't. Oh gosh! I'm this one of your subscribers. Awesome, appreciate it, man. I'm a little nervous. What was your name? JD, man. JD, alright. Cosmos JD, man. Alright. On Facebook, I'm Mr. Stacks OD. Mr. Stacks OD. Oh gosh! I'm this one of your subscribers. Awesome, appreciate it, man. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> What's your name and what do you got in here? Full video details. Uh, Jason Martyrs. I got four Devbonts DB4 15s, uh, two DC 10Ks, uh, one 100 amp hour lithium, 400 amp alternator. Is it limitless? Well, limitless. What is it tuned to? Um, 53 yards. 53? And what about your alternator power? It's uh, 350 amp Leastonville generator. Wow. Uh, I got a big rectifier box in the back, 24 rows and zero gauge into the air. Okay. Look at that. So, I had to CA glue everything in. I've never seen that before. I didn't have any choice. Yeah. What is it, meter? 160.3 and you can't go on music. Okay. I like how you did this. I've never seen that before. Yeah, it's, I got plywood in between. Okay. Uh, three sheets of three quarter MDF through and bolted. Wow. Just, I don't like window flex. I don't yeah. want to blow my windows. So. That's right. And you got a, is it half full, one on, quarter on? What do you want? Each is at a half, yeah. Okay. So it does, uh, it works. Yeah, that's loud. It Woo. works. Can it I is. see the alternator and batteries? Yeah. Awesome. Well, oh, that was pretty impressive, man. That was like top three demo loud today. I'm yeah, man. It. Top three today, for sure. Woo. I had bolts sticking up. So it makes I it look cool. Cover the bolt and I found some spikes. That made me have a little little bit come out of my nose. Oh, yeah. Hey. That was funny. This is just a gigantic. Okay. Thing. It runs to a giant rectifier box in the back. It's nice. AC current. Oh, it's the only okay. thing I could get fabbed on. Yes, sir. Dude, that's pretty brutal. I don't have a serpentine belt yeah. like everybody else. Uh, so. Dude, that was pretty brutal. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, yeah that ain't nasty, man. And it's all in the same power. I haven't changed nothing. Really? I just took the seats out and put it in wood and floor. Yeah, but yeah. you got wood. And then he got, he got, he got, it's dynamite everywhere. Dude. There's yeah. 3M tape. Have you 3M taped your box or any kind of anything inside? No, it's built to the truck. Everything in the back is caged in. Okay. Yeah, you can't. Inside is basically just three little pieces. Everything was on the exterior on the back. Gotcha. And the sides. Oh. So I didn't. I bet you'd gain if you move this up. It's only 8.5 tubes. Really? That's why it's so high of a peak, man. That's yeah. what I wanted to make, and that's all I could get. Gotcha. My too low, I was losing. Oh, yeah, I can pull the seats and gain. It's just for... But you're not that extreme of a peak. No, 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 this is a demo truck. Okay. Yeah, it is a demo truck. I tried to do the loudest on the windshield peg, but that thing, I don't know, Chris Lee or something with the 16, 12, going like 8. Eight Ks or something. Yeah. We did a sixty-three on music. Wow. What did you do on the meter on the dash? I did a fifty-eight-one for thirty-second average on the windshield. Man, yeah, on the windshield. Oh, I did. This thing's pretty cool too. <laughs> yeah, what, he did a sixty-three. 30-second average? 30-second average is 63. Oh, oh, yeah, the guy with That's the 16 NSV4s yep. on, uh, yeah, I made a video on that one. Yeah. Enough face yeah. to kill you. So, <laughs> when I get you beat, seen that one? I haven't seen that when one. When he beats me, I don't, I can't get upset. Yeah. Well, the power upset. comparison. Yeah, you, you, you see that one. Yeah. If I had six more on these subs, I could probably oh, do yeah. a 63 oh, or yeah. 64, oh, too. So. Woo. Awesome. Thanks for the demo. What what year and model is this vehicle? Uh, 90 miles of B2200. Okay. And I'm the only one to touch in 12 years. Wow. He got about 100,000 miles on it. it. Used to be my daily driver. I painted it. I did everything. You want to say take your brother away? No, that ain't.
peak. What was that frequency? 53 hertz. Woo. Truck plays at 53, the box tune at 53. Uh, Everything's man. playing at 53. Yeah, yeah. I had it a little high in the clip in that Woo. time for you. I appreciate that. That uh, was nasty. That was at least a 60 on music right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, man, Woo. he been riding with me for 10 years. I didn't, I didn't fix him once. He done, that's my ride dog, man. He didn't, uh -oh. He done been a lot of miles with me. God dog, I'm about to glue him back together. Gotta put his head back on. He done, he done listen to more bass than most people have, I promise. <laughs> What's going on, guys? It's Jake and Ball. Talk about a crazy build y'all just saw with 415's wall driver port doing 53's hammer times straight hardcore full tilt on me in this demo. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Go ahead and thumbs this up if y'all enjoyed it. If you didn't like it, comment what was wrong as well as dislike it. It's your preference and opinion. Um, give some good feedback as well on this setup, man. It's really crazy how he had 415s doing 60s like that. Tap out demos for a lot of people that aren't used to the bass. So I'll go ahead and start off with the uh, daily shout out. It's going to go to Joel Caberto. He said, hey, Jacob, I love seeing a daily video. How about a shout out, bro? Thanks. There's your shout out, Joel. Appreciate you watching and thanks everybody for watching my daily videos. That's the goal is to bring cardio demos to you guys every day, 365 days a year, as long as I have the demos from shows I go to. So let's go ahead and talk about two topics today. One, why tune a box so high? So really the toning, like for example, on this system, he was tuned to 53. It's all user preference. Um, you usually meter higher, you're louder on music, you're louder to the ear on a higher frequency. So the higher you tune, the less, it could still be musical to your musical preference. That's another thing also, but it could be musical to you, but not musical to others. So if you're tuned in your high 40s to mid 50 range, you're not gonna be playing 25, 30 hertz. You're not gonna be moving there, you're not gonna be doing hair tricks, but you are gonna be able to hear a lot more punchy bass, a lot more of the, I guess, rock bass, um, more higher end, high tier bass and the uh, mid, mid bass level almost. So mid bass is normally like 60 hertz to 80 hertz range. You're gonna hear more of those frequencies a little bit higher than you would with a box tune in the 30 hertz range. So it's really all user preference. Like in this build, like it's just how he preferred it. There's no real reason behind why you would tune higher or lower out of preference unless you find out what kind of music you listen to and tune around that. So um, you do lose lows by tuning high, but that's all in preference. And the second thing is PVC roundovers on the port. So why do people do PVC roundovers? And how do you know it's a PVC? Well, it could be another roundover, but I just call it PVC because it's literally just a tube. PVC you see on ports. It could be on a no wall build. It could be on a wall build. It could be on sixth orders. It could be in the rear port or the front port. Um, a lot of people do it even in the subwoofer boxes on trunks where you won't see it physically, but they'll put a PVC roundover around the uh, entrance way of where the airflow is moving. So the reason people are doing that, I can say three things. One, you get better air velocity and flow. Two, it helps you meter low a little bit better because of the way airflow works. Um, not every case scenario, you gotta test it, but it does help gain on the meter for a lot of people. And the way it extends the port as well, it could help you tune a little bit lower, especially in a fourth order case scenario or sixth order, because you're allowing your you're shrinking from just wood or two by fours or some form of baffle to a PVC or added onto it. So you're actually shrinking the uh, port area with that added roundover, which is also being a smoother surface. So you're being able to play a little lower and gives you a little better air velocity, adds a little bit on the meter. Majority of the time, you have to test on that. And that's, I guess, some of the variables. There could be more. You guys can comment and give some good idea or feedback on that. I'm not 100% sure on every reason. Well, that's all I got for the day for some small commentary. Appreciate you guys watching. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Add me on Facebook and Instagram if you haven't already.